Welcome back. Our second point today, we're breaking down the race to become the next mayor in the city of Charleston. We want to welcome in former State House Representative William Cogswell, a candidate in this race. Introduce yourself to our viewers. Sure. Thank you, Riley. Glad to be here. Um, name's William Cogswell, uh, announced candidate for the mayor of Charleston, uh, born and raised here uh, in Charleston. Uh, been in the real estate business for about 25 years. My wife and I have a partnership uh, in a company that uh, specializes in the redevelopment of historic buildings. Uh, and I've served in the State House for three terms representing uh, the good people of Charleston and Mount Pleasant. Uh, and I've enjoyed it, but um, decided I wanted to come local and uh, excited to be uh, a candidate for the, for the mayor's office. And obviously seeking this office, so let's talk about your platform, some of the issues that you're looking at. You know, you talk about the city of Charleston and you hear so much about flooding and, and affordable housing. For your campaign, what are your platforms you're focusing on? Sure, those are two very important issues, but when it, for, for me it really boils down to three basic points, and that is uh, safe communities, smart growth, mm -hmm. and sound governance. And when we talk about safe communities, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a, a crime rate that I think is an issue in the city. We need to support our police, make sure that people are safe in their homes and their businesses. Uh, when it comes to sound governance, I'm a big believer in uh, the basic functions of government actually running efficiently and a lot of attention being paid to that so that the potholes are filled and the uh, garbage is picked up. And then when it comes to smart growth, uh, growth is one of those uh, topics that is a very uh, hot button issue for sure. It deals with affordable housing, it deals with flooding. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we need to have a much more strategic approach to uh, how we handle growth because what's going on is the growth is not being, um, it's not enhancing our quality of life of the people that live here. And I really believe probably the core tenet of my platform is that we need to put locals first. You know, Representative Cogswell, we have about a minute left. So I want you, you know, any message you want to share with voters in the city of Charleston, anything that you want them to know? Obviously, we're, we're away, a bit away from this election, but yeah. the message that you want people to know as you kind of head into the summer season here. Sure. I would say that, you know, people need to pay attention. I do believe that what happens in Charleston over the next three to five years is really going to define the trajectory mm -hmm. uh, for our city and our region over the next century. Uh, we've got a lot of issues that we need to deal with. And for me, it's all about putting things into motion. We have a lot of plans, a lot of ideas that have been talked about over the years, not a lot of action. And that's why I'm in the race. Obviously, our viewers are getting to meet you. So, you know, where can they go to find some of your campaign material? Maybe you have a website, something you can sure, share with sure. them. Sure, uh, sure. Website, cogswellformayor.com. Uh, and uh, we have uh, a handle on Instagram as well. So. Uh, would love to hear from you and uh, are excited to get out into the community and spread our message uh, far and wide. All right, Representative Coswell, thank you so much for your time. Hope to have you back on the show. Yeah, thank you. Take care.